Hello, this is Sherline of Kathanika. The story I have for you is a tale from Goa. It is called Atulim and Bitulim. Once in a village in Goa, there lived two sisters called Atulim and Bitulim. Atulim and Bitulim were orphans. Their parents had died in an unfortunate accident. The girls were now alone in this world. Atulim and Bitulim loved each other dearly. Atulim was tall, dark, with bright eyes. Bitulim had buck teeth and was gifted with the most charming smile. Atulim and Bitulim lived in a house that was close to the forest. Atulim and Bitulim were kind and sweet girls. They helped everyone in need around them. The girls assisted the old lady who lived in the big villa all by herself in household chores whenever they could. They babysat and watched over the little kids of the auntie who had ten children when she needed a break. Atulim and Bitulim were also mindful of the animals around them. They kept fruits and nuts on the kitchen windowsill for the creatures of the forest like the squirrels, the monkeys, the bats who visited them. They left a few bananas on their banana tree for the elephant who lived in the forest. Everyone loved the girls in return and brought them gifts. The old lady who lived alone in the big villa always kept an extra piece of cake for each of the girls whenever she happened to bake some. The auntie with the ten children got dresses made for Atulim and Bitulim when she got dresses made for her own children. Even the animals did their little bit for the girls. The squirrel brought nuts, the monkeys brought mangoes and jackfruit, the bats brought guavas. Even the elephant brought firewood, vegetables and the tender shoots of bamboo to make their favourite bamboo shoot pickle. But there was one creature in the forest who wasn't very pleased with the girls. Wagmam, the tiger, was very jealous. Atulim and Bitulim did not seem to extend their generosity to him, he complained. Hmm, putting out fruits and nuts for the stupid monkeys and squirrels, huh? Those girls never think of leaving a small chicken out for me, he said bitterly. One day, Wagmam was passing by the village. It was the day Atulim and Bitulim were preparing sannas. Now Wagmam loved sannas. The aroma of the sannas went out Atulim and Bitulim's window and reached far and wide. It reached the nostrils of Wagmam. Wagmam the tiger sniffed the air. <laughs> ah, someone is making sannas, my favourite dish, said the tiger. Poor Atulim and Bitulim, they shivered with fright when they heard Wagmam the tiger roaring outside their house. Mm. Atulim and Bitulim are making them. My mouth is watering. I must have some. Atulim and Bitulim's eyes grew wide with fright. They looked around to find themselves a hiding place. There were two large jars in the kitchen. These were used to store pickles. Atulim jumped into one and Bitulim leaped into the other. Wagmam the tiger gave a great big roar and entered the courtyard. The chickens that the girls kept cackled loudly, flapped their wings and ran helter-skelter. Wagmam the tiger entered the house and made straight for the kitchen. Atulim and Bitulim were terrified as Wagmam upset the vessels in search of the sannas. Soon he found them and ate them all up. Wagmam licked his paws and looked around. 
Where are those two sisters? He asked aloud. My stomach is still not full. Poor Atulim and Bitulim, they bent deeper into the jars. Vagmam walked about the kitchen and came to the jars. What wonderful jars! said the tiger. I must take one home to pickle my meat. Vagmam the tiger picked up the jar with Atulim and placed it on his back. Bitulim peeped out of her jar just then and saw what was happening. She could not bear to be separated from her sister. As the big tiger made his way towards the door, Bitulim quickly jumped out of her jar and into the other jar. Atulim made space for her. Gosh! exclaimed Wagmam in surprise. This jar has suddenly become twice its weight. I hope I will be able to reach my den safely. Inside the jar, the sisters hugged each other. They trembled with fear as they were jolted from side to side. Now the jar that Atulim and Bitulim had chosen to hide in had been unused for quite some time. It was dusty and had cobwebs in it. Atulim made a funny face. Bitulim looked at her. I want to sneeze, said Atulim in a low voice. Shh! No, 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 don't do that. The tiger will hear you and eat us up, warned Bitulim. She put her finger below Atulim's nose to prevent her from sneezing. Wagmam the tiger heard the voices. He stopped walking. He looked here and he looked there, but he couldn't see anyone. So he continued. After some time, Bitulim made a funny face. I am going to sneeze, said Bitulim. No, 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 please don't, please don't. The tiger will hear you, pleaded Atulim. What's this? said the tiger. This jar is a talking jar. I hear voices. He stopped and put down the jar. He sniffed and peeped inside. Achoo! sneezed Atulim. Achoo! sneezed Bitulim. The jar broke into a thousand pieces. The tiny fragments entered Wagmam the tiger's eye. He went completely blind. Ah! roared Wagmam the tiger with rage and pain. He began clawing and biting at everything within reach. Atulim and Bitulim ran towards the village and began calling for help. The villagers rushed to the spot with sticks and stones. Wagmam heard the villagers coming. He ran blindly in the direction he thought was the forest and landed exactly in the hands of the villagers. Down came the sticks and down came the stones onto Wagmam the tiger's back. Ah! Ah! Melo! Melo! yelped Wagmam and ran to the opposite direction where the forest was. Wagmam the tiger could hardly see where he was going, but ran he did with the villagers chasing him. When Wagmam had reached his den, he stopped. Never again will I go anywhere close to those girls, he vowed. How oh, my back hurt! How oh, my legs hurt! Those girls, how I hate them! Meanwhile, back at the village, Atulim and Bitulim were praised for their quick thinking and courage. The End I hope you liked this story. If you did, do subscribe to the channel to help other kids find this story. Thank you.